Hello everyone, my name is Resurgent and this is Franbo. Um, this will be my first time playing this. I figured why not pick a game that doesn't seem really too scary for my first let's play. So, uh, I mean I get scared a lot so I'm hoping there <laughs> won't be screaming too much into your ears, but let's get started. Everything's fine. Feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. <gasps> it's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight, my best friend, my only friend. That's kind of sad. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday, my parents are going out. And Grace takes good care of me. We're having so much fun. Oh, look at Mr. Midnight. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's Mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I get closer. Closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? So I guess I wasn't very creative with names either. Fran, please follow my voice. The count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. I feel like dying. I just saw my parents getting murdered. I probably... I feel like dying. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. Recovery? Don't you kid it. My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better. I promise. Better? Then let me go. That would be better. You should not tell me how to do my job. But now I have something for you, friend. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This was my mother's purse. Oh, I got a little knapsack. Open it. There's something inside. Lost and found. 
Why was her knapsack say lost and found? Can't use this. Maybe. I oh, that makes sense. Examine. Dearest Fran, here is a purse you'd like so much. Thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you'd like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that created creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Apparently I can't read. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Aunt Grace, well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her, she is fine. So tired of all this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called Duotine. And it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran. Take your medicine. Can I not take the medicine? How about no? no can I walk? Nope, she made a step. Oh, I can walk. Can I go over this way? No. Nope, okay, fine. I guess I have to take the medicine. Okay. I don't feel good. Whoa! But so fast. Let me see it again. I want to de see decapitated heads. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. House of Madness. I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Ow. Fran, wake up! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. So Mr. Rinda is a boy, she probably give him a more masculine uh, voice. But I'm not very good at masculine voices, as you can tell. I sound like a 10-year-old kid, so... Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Creepy clown on the wall. Wake up. Oh, wake up. I'm still here. Hideous place. Get out of bed. I have to get out of here and get out of bed. That would make sense. There we go. Both feet on the ground, one step there. Right. Ooh, it's creep clown. I will get your nose. I will get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Locked. Rambo history. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. 1944. Hopefully, this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. I don't want to. I just woke up. Where are these? Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Alright, let's check this out. One sec. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a secret box. Examine. 
little box. It's open. A key that will certainly open something. Hmm. Well, that was nice with that key right there. Hope someone loves you. Phil! Hello, Phil! Hello. Know any way out? <laughs> Do you know the way out? There are many ways out. Everything's locked. How would I know? I haven't tried any doors. Indeed, but the office is the key. The office? What do you mean? I saw the doctor write a secret code. I'll see, yeah. I'll see if I can find it. Alright. See. This must be Phil's patient chart. History. Paranoid behavior. Sit down. I, that's true. All right. Can I use this key on it? Use tiny key with tiny little key. No, I mean no. Use the tiny key on the door. The door. Oh, the key is too tiny. Never mind then. Oh, can you use the key on here? There's something inside. Hey, what's this? Oh, look, there's Mr. Midnight and your family. Cute. And what is this? My hair clip. I should give it a good use. What's this? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Oh. oh. Something fell. Of course, something fell. You just pulled the whole curtain down. Probably take this. Can you take the curtain too? Oh, no. Okay, can we look at the window? Tower defense. Why would they need a tower defense though if this is like a little kid's asylum? It seems a little bit like. Um, not very necessary. Wheelchair. Can we look at these windows? Oh. Uh, boarded up windows. Can't see through this window. What's this window have? The playground. Good night, trees and moon. Oh, that reminds me of a good night moon story that I used to read to my sisters when I was younger. Let's talk to the sisters. Oh, Fred, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. So many days. Did she have not have to go to the bathroom with in those three days? Your cat is probably dead, girl. Now leave, I'm working. Something ha Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? Broke the curtains. <laughs> I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. How about I not follow you? Let's check out your desk. Coffee. Curious, yes. But the... No, she's not. Well, I guess that counts as the same room. She would just go crazy if I touch anything. I better go and talk. Alright, fine. Go talk to her. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? Oh, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix it. Fix this, you little girl. Let's go check out her desk. Let's snoop in there. Let's see patient notes. Mm, coffee. Band aids. Violent trauma can have a great impact on 
children totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people. But, uh, I don't really think we have to read this. It's a nice drawing of a human skull with a brain. Let's see. can get crazy sometimes about a gun. Uh, I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, get out of there. Alright, okay, examine that. My pills are inside, I know I have to crack the code. Uh, that was eight, right? So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, that'd be nine. I'd use my fingers, sorry. A, B, C, D, four, A, B, C, D, E, five. <gasps> yes, I can count. Pills, Kitty told me these would help me. What do I do? Do I take the pills? Uh, yeah. That's not creepy at all. No, like, let's press this thing. Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? Look at that poor mouse. Got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? Oh, it's a little. It's out the window. That apparently did not change. Watch your step. Wait, wasn't there a window here? There was a window there. It's not there now. Still boarded up. Is that supposed to be the nurse? Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you alright? Hello? Mm. Ugh! What the? Ugh, that's creepy. Is that her head? That is Bran's head. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Your head. Can you pick this up? Well, I guess about the curtains. Well, what is that creature? It does not look like the same one in the window. Oh, it's a dead rabbit. Oh, sweet, sweet melons. Everything the same. Where's the clown? Where did the clown go? Let's see. Is this... Who did it? It was not me. Well, I didn't think she would do it. Ugh. Let's see, does he do anything different? Why are you looking at me? Yeah, like, you terrify me. No, I'm saying. What is that black thing sitting next to you? Billy's playing with his uncle and the uncle is mad? Mad. Oh, a tear on the chair. Ugh. Oh no, your head. I'll try to put your head back on. That. Sounds absolutely disgusting. How about we'd not? But yeah, let's press it anyways. Oh no, I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Rocking horse. Oh, can you open the door now? Oh no, it's still locked. You can see. What's that? Alright. Let's go down here. Since our bed mysteriously disappeared. Oh, it's Aunt Grace. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep her away from me. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. 
You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Oh no! Wake up! Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. So what if I press the pills again? How did the... How did the bed, like, mysteriously get back over there? Let's press the fox. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. I don't really think he's crying, Fran, but that's, that's alright. Use my hand as a tissue. Uh, how about no? Bobby pin. Can I use a bobby pin? Or a hair clip. Same thing. Use my hair clip. I should give it a good use. Would that. I, can you combine those two? Combine golden hook with hair clip? Nope. The, nope, it must not. Ugh, won't work. Okay. I have to use a hair clip though on the door. Use hair clip lift for Whoa, use... We use them both. What? Well, how do I combine them? Press combine. Yes, do it. at the same time. Use the door. <laughs> the combined golden... Okay. <laughs> there wasn't anything else to open. What am I missing? I opened everything in here. Did I forget to take something? No, I can't take the gun. Coffee. Is there something in her drawer? I no, I guess I can't go in there. Never mind. Can I take stuff from here? Oh, I totally missed that. I could probably combine those two to make like a lock picking thing. There we go. <laughs> why I thought the hook would fit into the lock with the hair clip. There we go. Fran, wait! Are you leaving tonight? I'm gonna try and find Mr. Midnight, of course. Bye! Alright, let's get out of this joint. room. Oh, this person's drawing on the ground. They're like, what are the clowns? Like, that's like the, what, third clown? Second clown? I lost count. Let's talk to her. She probably should use, like, paper. I don't buy. No, I don't buy. No, okay, I guess that's not the right answer. Hello! You see them, don't you? What? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows. Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. I wish I didn't see them. Do you like to draw? I love to draw. I love to draw it too. Tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. There's like 
four crayons on the ground. I want to find my cat. Draw a cat if you don't have one. Keep looking for my cat. I better keep looking for my cat then. Cat is in danger. The shadows took him. I know. <sighs> Who told you that? The one that follows me. Can you take a crayon? That's mine, my crayons. <laughs> I want your crayon. I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. There's two green crayons. There's one right there. That looks pretty green to me, unless it's yellow. But it looks green. Yes, many colors, but you know they don't like me drawing. Ooh. Oh, they really don't care, because look at all that drawing on your walls. The nurses, they tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. Yeah, they are crazy. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh, It's kind of sad. Just let her draw. Give her paper instead of letting her draw over the walls and the floor. They'll make everything fine. Please cure me, yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. Let's check out her room on these drugs. Wait, no, let's read this first. Um, patient, um, um, that's really sad. Dr. Dern has become close to the patient through drawing therapies. She's making progress. Then why do they yell at her when she's drawing then? Just let her draw. Ooh. Why is the chair rocking by itself? That's creepy. She looks like a little doll. A creepy little doll. That's exactly what I was thinking, Fran. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. Okay, it's just a repeat. Look, the clown is gone. Even the purest of things die in this place. Please, I mean, can you tell me something? Whoa, oh my god. Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. It kind of looks like how her uh, mom and dad were chopped up in the beginning. Maybe if I touch it, it'll jump and scare me a lot. Touch it again. <laughs> it must be dead. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Please cure me, yes? Probably give her band aids, right? Put on them. Adelaida. Oh, look at that. Put it on. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon now. Now go, I have to draw. Yes, she gave me the green crayon. Can you do anything else? Oh, that is right, you do draw with a crayon. Let's look out this window. Just a maze. Alright. Ew, bathroom. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. I can and will hold it. Good luck with that. 
I remember when I was eighth, in eighth grade, I uh, went on a camping trip and I didn't want to poop because I was embarrassed and that was not the best idea I had. It's probably too much information, but... Hey! Come back! He wasn't there before. Catch him. You can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Is the bathroom different? The king like Oh jeez. <laughs> I don't know why that scared me. The king likes drawings. It's a good thing I have a crayon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to stop it here for now, um, but I might come back and finish up the demo, but thank you for watching it. I really appreciate it. Take care.